Hey, what's up everybody? This is Cecil Alexander with Jazz Lesson Videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at five licks from my latest uh, resource with Jazz Lesson Videos, um, 50 two, five, one licks. We're going to be taking a look at diatonic licks over 251, bebop licks, uh, licks using the diminished scale, uh, substitutions, as well as pentatonic licks. If you want to download the PDF package with notation, tab, as well as recordings for all the examples, feel free to use the link below. Let's start by taking a look at this diatonic phrase over 251. So this phrase is going to start off with a wide interval um, within the major scale. So we have E here at the uh, second string down to E at the fourth string, big leap. And then we have F and A. And then we're using kind of this F major shell shape, which is uh, F, A, and E in order to cre create this kind of a wide intervallic sound on the D minor 7. We go down the scale uh, to C, and then we have a diatonic approach, C, D, into B. So we land on the third of our 5 chord, and then we have this big leap up another 7th, up to A, G, and then we uh, end the lick using an excerpt of the C major pentatonic scale. So the whole phrase slowly sounds like this. And up to speed we have. So for our second phrase, we're going to be looking at a bebop derived uh, line over 251. So we're going to start with E up here at the second fret. And we have one of my favorite uh, little approaches, this major second uh, within the scale using an eighth note triplet. It's a nice way to get some rhythmic variation to your, uh, your lines. So we go from E down to D. Uh, and then we just kind of go down the scale from there. We have this passing tone uh, between G and F uh, to have F, the flat seventh of the five chord, land on beat one. Um, and then we continue to go down chromatically so that we have a uh, flat 13th on a strong beat. And then we descend using this kind of an A flat minor idea. You could think of this as being derived from the altered scale as well. There's like five, three, two, one on A flat minor. And we have G, F, E to land on the third of the one chord on beat one. So here's how the phrase sounds uh, slowly. And here it is up to speed. So for our third line, we're going to be taking a look at a lick that uses um, diminished scale, the half hole diminished scale on the five chord. Uh, so if you're not familiar, the half hole diminished scale is going to be uh, starting on G, G, A flat, B flat, B, C sharp, D, E, and F. So it's an eight note scale. Uh, it's going to give you a lot of color on five chords. Uh, in this lick, we have um, kind of a diatonic section on the two chord, so just going up the scale from D to A, down the scale, and then we have an approach to E, so from a half step below into uh, E, the 13th of the five chord. So starting on the five chord, uh, we have one of my favorite shapes to use within the uh, whole half diminished scale. So this is going to be E, uh, D flat, A flat, and F. You could think of that as being a D flat major triad. So F would be the third, A flat would be the fifth, D flat would be the root. And then uh, you add a sharp nine or a flat third um, to get this kind of outside diminished sound. And all of those notes are available within uh, the half hole diminished scale. So you can find these shapes kind of naturally within the scale, different triads, different four note or five note shapes, uh, just to give your lines more contour and uh, make them a little bit more angular. And once I go down that shape, I slide down a half step into E. And then I find another shape within the half hole diminished scale. This is going to be a D flat minor triad uh, from the flat third. So E, D flat, A flat, and then B flat. Uh, so I can land on G on B1 of the one major seven chord. So slowly the phrase is going to sound like this. And then up to speed.
So in our fourth phrase, we're going to be taking a look at a lick over 251 that uses a substitution. Uh, so our substitution is going to be uh, using one measure of D minor 7 to G7, and then we're going to have a measure of F sharp minor 7 to B7. So this is kind of taking that 2-5 and moving it up a major third. Uh, so to start the line, we have uh, the series of chromatic approaches into F. So. So starting from A, we just move down chromatically uh, to the flat third of our two chord. And then we have uh, one of my favorite devices to use, this uh, pivot arpeggio. So we're taking the notes F, uh, A, C, E, and we're moving the top three notes of that arpeggio down an octave so that we have... This is just a really good tool for uh, getting different contours into your playing. So in our first measure we have... So you can hear how that sounds like D minor 7, G7. And then we move down a half step into D sharp, up to E. And then we uh, move down kind of this cliche um, bebop idea outlining F sharp minor 7. So this is going into the flat 7th here. That's D sharp to E. Here would be the 5th, the flat 3rd, the 2nd, and then the root. Um, but against the G7, that's going to give us a lot of tension. Um, then we move up a fourth to B. So we kind of approach our C major 7 uh, using B, B flat, land on A on beat 1, and then we go down um, to the fifth there, to the third, and then down uh, to the fifth um, to kind of wrap up the phrase there. So here's how the phrase sounds slowly. Here it is up to speed. So in this last lick over 251, we're going to be using pentatonic scales over the different chords. Over our D minor 7, we'll use D minor pentatonic. Over G7, we'll use B flat minor pentatonic. And over C major, we'll use uh, E minor pentatonic. <laughs> So um, we have kind of a motif throughout this phrase of uh, this repeating major second. So we start with a major second between F and G, repeat that twice. We then have a major second between C and D. So in our first measure we have, and then leading into the G7, uh, we have this uh, kind of the same idea moving through the B flat minor pentatonic scale, starting with a major second between A flat and B flat then E flat and F, again A flat and B flat up an octave, and then E flat and D flat. So the B flat minor pentatonic scale over a G7 is going to give you uh, altered tensions. So against a G bass, uh, B flat would be the sharp 9, D flat would be the flat 5, E flat would be the flat 6, F would be the flat 7, um, and then A flat would be the flat nine. Um, so notice there's not a G in this um, in this pentatonic scale, uh, and that alone is going to give us a lot of uh, tension against this G seven. Uh, so again, on the measure of the five chord, we have, and then we move into C major seven using the E minor pentatonic scale. So we have E D B. A. Again, uh, repeating that major second theme. So the whole phrase slowly is going to sound like this. And then up to speed we have. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed those licks over the 251. Uh, if you want to dive a little bit deeper into these concepts, feel free to check out my latest PDF package with Jazz Lesson videos, uh, 5251 licks. Feel free to click like below and subscribe to the Jazz Lesson videos YouTube channel. Um, and if you have any suggestions for a future topic for us to cover, uh, leave a comment below and we'll try to get to it. I'll see you all next time.